Yeah, what's up guys? A couple of really informative situations here. The first one I'm showing you right now is from a student, Enric. He is EU West like master. And in this game, he wanted to know pretty much how to win this game quickly because he ends up killing Doanal on his blue buff here as Belveth. So you can see that Belveth now has 16 CS. She smited blue, so she's done her whole bot side into a blue buff here. And straight away, what is your first thought as a jungler when you do this? It's about the counterplay. So immediately here, you should just know that as Belveth, your whole top side is up. Scuttle Crab's up in 15 seconds, okay? So Belveth here honestly should do the Gromp, depending on like her HP and stuff, but she's full HP. Her bot lane also looks as if they have decent pressure if their bot lane moves and if Zed moves over. All Belveth has to do is run out, right? Because Zed will lose minions mid, and their bot lane will also lose golden experience. This is just how you win the map indirectly by putting pressure like this on a weaker early game jungler. So Belveth here, I'm thinking in my head you can do Gromp, I'm pretty sure, and then you should think about basing and just running to Hecarim's Rapses. So as you recall, Belveth can quite simply just run out here. And Hecarim most likely is going to go where out of base? To this crab. He might come back to Gromp and Wolves and Full Clear to Topside. And if you're Belvev, after you do Gromp and Recall, and then you run to Hecarim's Raptors, bro, it's so juicy. Like, if he loses this Topside, the game is just completely over. Why do we not go to Crab first? Because wouldn't you want Hecarim's Raptors? So if Belvev does this Gromp, it might take 10-15 seconds, depending on Smite situation. She Recalls, runs here. The Raptors will legit, like, just respawn as soon as she gets there. If not, they already have respawned. And yeah, that's how she can snowball this game. I don't know if Enric actually did that. But yeah, that's the first situation. The next situation I want to show you guys is around this bot side of the map here. Because Enric as well is going to win another fight bot side here. So you can see that the blue team is going to win this fight, right? So there they are. I need to actually pause this on the right time. So Donal looks to, like, counter gank bot lane. And these guys are all dead. Now, Aurelian Soul starts recalling here. So it's Belveth, right? Lots of people here, because they get kills like this, will just immediately think of doing what do you think. And he does it here. Like, the blue team does it, and it just gets them killed. And this is Master Elo. So this is the big difference between Master and Challenger, all right? So all of these guys on this blue team can learn from this. And I'm sure lots of people watching can as well. Doing Drake is a loss of tempo. Yes, you might think, oh, we just killed them. We just killed two players. Let's do Dragon here. If we all go there and insta do it, we get it. That is actually like a possibility, right? But the bigger thing on the map in the next like minute or so, including Dragon, is what? It's Rift Herald, right? It's a minute 20 seconds away. And Belveth, you can see Enric. We know he started at his own red buff here. Or he started Rats as red because his red buff is on a 30 second timer. If it was his first camp, it would be up in like, well, maybe even now in the next 5, 10 seconds. We win Raptors, Krugs red maybe, or Raptors red Krugs into Hecarim's blue side. So here I think Enric as well, depending on gold, obviously it depends on gold, right? Like if he um, is on like zero gold, he can just like recall, or not recall, sorry, but he can go like Krugs red Raptors into Rift Herald or something like this. And that's basically what I'm saying here. I honestly think he can easily just think about basing depending on his gold situation and just plan to go to Rift Herald, right? Or even hit Hecarim's top, top side here because they would have seen the Hecarim on this wave at level four. And if Belvif just, let's just say she recalls Krugs red Raptors into Hecarim's top side, or even if she's close to level six, she doesn't even have to do a red buff. Maybe she could. So she could like recall, run to red, and then go up here like this level six and just hit Hecarim's top side, right? So this is all about snowballing, guys. So both of these situations require the player to be aware of what the counterplay is. Because if this blue team ends up doing dragon, I still don't think it's that bad. They just have to be coordinated. And that's like kind of the AIDS thing um, in these games because you're not on like voice comms or anything. But I still think like it's just a waste doing the dragon. Like if Hecarim does dragon here, this is what you got to ask yourself, guys. Like if you don't do dragon, if they do dragon, do you actually, like, get anything in return? Well, if you recall as Belveth, and you're running out here, and you see Hecarim doing Dragon, well, if I can't actually respond to this directly, you know, be there myself and fight him for it, well, I take his whole fucking topside. Then I come back down level 6 into Rift Herald. This guy will still be level 5. So who cares if they do Dragon, right? You would want the red team to do Dragon here, so just leave it there. There's no rush here. There is no rush. There are other plays on the map to make based on the weaker enemy jungler and based on the better actual objective being Rift Held. So that's this first game. The next one I want to show you is actually a situation that I saw. I legit chewed into a Donal stream for like 30 seconds last night when I was streaming. I was just like fucking eating something. And I was like, right, let's watch Donal in EU West. And I sent him this as well and he understood it. This is um, very, very important. I put this in my Discord as well. Make sure you guys join this if you, uh, if you haven't already. And I just want to like point this out to you guys. So Donal here, you can see how he's clicking to Krux. Now, immediately I saw this and I just knew it was wrong. Why do I know it's wrong? What do you guys think here? So I want you to look at the map. That's all you're looking at. 
Try not to look at Donal flexing. But you're looking at the map, and then you're... <laughs> look at that flex, bro. The double bicep, mate. I want you to look at the map, and then look at the champions. So above the map, you see Jay, Sarkali, Kate, Lux, right? Then I want you to think about the enemy champions as well. So let's just try to take everything off here, because I just see this, and I see it instantly, right? But if we think about this, Milio, the enemy supporter's bot, our Lux is kind of like floating towards mid, and if we did anything top side of the map, so let's just say from that top scuttle crab or river into the enemy jungler's top side, like I didn't even know who the enemy jungler was, guys, or like their situation, but I just look in the top right, Donal's 1-0, he's got 50 CS, he's in a good situation, right? Then we have to think about what the map is going to look like. So Akali is on a very similar line running out of base to Hecarim. That means if Hecarim, you know, was to just run straight into the top river, Akali would probably be, what, like the mid tower? So he's actually able to make a play based off mid and especially top because Jace has insane prior. And it doesn't look as if Jace is going to recall anytime soon because if he was going to recall, he would have recalled straight away after shoving that wave instead of just staying on the map, right? So I've got good lanes here. My support is also closer to Rift Herald. If a fire happens, I can also ping this. So basically what I'm getting at here is Rift Herald, right? And actually forcing a play here because your lanes are great. And also the enemy's poor showing bot is just a clear indication that this can even be like a 4v3 we insta win this so let's force them into a 4v3 if they don't fight us i just get a free rift herald and i deny it from them so what donal should do here what do you guys think should he go krug's red raptors into rift should he go from krug's all the way to his bot side because that sequence looks nice and it will be like level seven after that kind of juicy the best play here is just to go red buff so he's level six and then go to Rift Herald. If he does red buff, yes, it takes like 10-15 seconds. In those 10-15 seconds, is the enemy jungler going to do anything against him? Is the map really going to change that much from what it is now? No, right? He can easily still do Rift Herald after red buff, and it just secures the play. What ends up happening is Donald just, you know, kind of full clears his top side, and this gives the enemy champions time to react to this. Right, so yes, Akali has Prime, and yes, like Jace dying solo, I'm pretty sure he does here. But you see how like this opens up counterplay for the enemy team because it's 30 seconds late. 30 seconds ago, he could easily have had Rift Herald, and he would have actually saved Jace from dying in that fight as well. And what ends up happening, that was really clean. What ends up happening is they just lose topside. Even after this, like if Akali wants to tip, if you're a mid laner here, guys, and you know topside is lost, just go and dive their bot lane. Like just give up this topside, go and dive their bot lane here. Yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully that made sense. Let me know in the comments any questions about this. And yeah, make sure you hit the sub button. I'm going to upload so many videos in the near future. And yeah, don't be shit. All right, bye.